Yes. This is Creeping Net, and we are playing Night Driver for the Atari 2600. This is probably one of the earliest driving games, and it makes very little sense. In this game, you drive a car down a, down a nighttime roadway, and you try to avoid hitting other cars. You try to make it as far as you can in the allotted amount of time, which is about 100 seconds. So as you can see, I'm not doing too bad. And that little thing in the middle of the screen, that's your supercharger sticking out of your hood. That's not the car. This was a first-person arcade game when it came out. It was kind of awesome for the time, but it used an overlay of the supercharger for the artwork. The 2600 has to do the graphics itself. Right now I'm actually doing pretty well at this. Alright, we're just ripping through it. 45 seconds left. Let's see how far we can get on this level. We haven't discussed the difficulty switch settings on this one at all. actually doing pretty good at this considering I haven't played it in a while, but it probably helps I have paddles that are in decent shape. Yeah, this is played with the paddle controller. It's the controller with the little knob on it and the button. Used for like the Pong games. And it's a pretty simple little game. As you can see, we got about 51 miles in in about 100 seconds. And that's what the game is, and it restarts like that. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, that was a glitch. So now we have 90 seconds to make it in. And this one's a little more of an aggressive track. More turns. So you can see there we have sort of like a exit direction. There were some sharp turns and if you hit the cars, super low resolution. Pretty impressive graphics for the time, if you think about it. Yeah, this is the part that always gets me in Night Drivers, hitting that side of the road. That's just basically all you do in this game, is just basically race down a street at night and try not to crash into anything. And navigate all these goofy turns. It's almost like a pattern generator. <laughs> Here we go. We're just gonna try every different round. You can hit houses too, which is crazy. Hit another car. Night driver. <laughs> no mercy. Yeah, this game is like chaos to find at times. The arcade version's a little smoother. This version's a little more aggressive. So we made 61 miles that round. That's actually pretty good. Let's see what 3 does. Ooh. Yeah, 3 just. They make the turns more extreme in every round to make it harder. So as you can see now, we're on a narrower road that's a little harder to drive now. More hairpin turns. I have cars on both sides of the road. And we are going to crash a whole heck of a lot more. Eventually we're going to make this series more casual and I'm not going to be doing commentary, but I always want to do commentary at least for the first playthroughs of these Atari games. <laughs> and your wrecker is going to be working overtime tonight. Of course, the sentiment the noise brings you. Not sure how you're supposed to handle those parts of the track, to be honest. Oh, I see. If only my button was a little better. So you got all these parts of the track here. And now we're just scooting through. Ooh. Yeah, about 20 seconds left. There. 
17, 16. Yes, this is just one of those arcade games they just sort of adopted over. It's a little more fun when you get older, but, you know, there's so much more about navigating this particular game. There you go. Let's see what other rounds they've got. They've got four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try num number eight. Yeah, this must be like the easy round because the road's much wider and it's just letting me rip through it. Might even play with our difficulty switches here. Let's put this one on A. A. Ah, here we go. Let's turn that both difficulties. Which is on A. So as you can see here, we have a lot more obstacles on the side of the road as well. So we can veer off into trees and houses and other cars. And We're just crashing into stuff. This is one of those games that was fun in short bursts. So it's not going to be a very long video. But, you know. And we're just kind of ripping around through through the track. I'm actually not doing too bad here considering this is one of the most difficult levels. And I spoke too soon. Anyway. Oh, I see. This is the one where you just drive as far as you want to in unlimited time. That's why. So let's restart it and see what happens now. So we put everything on difficulty A. This is what difficulty A does makes your car much faster. It makes everything much trickier. More obstacles, as you can see. So it really ramps up the difficulty almost to an unreasonable level. Um, whoa. I mean, I guess this is what's like, it kind of reminds me, I saw some kind of foreign film on TV when I was a teenager that had some two guys and they got in a Ferrari. I think they were in Italy and it looked kind of like this when they were playing it, like it was sped up footage. Oh, that was an awesome glitch. <laughs> All right, so just seeing how far we can go here. This is one of those ones that just sort of lets you keep driving, get used to the track. So I think we're gonna maybe go back to level one after this, and we're gonna do one last round, just kinda to see what it's like on level one. So we're gonna punch that gas. Come on. Let me have it. I have to really jam on the button to get it to go. Anyway. So we're playing level one here. We're already 11 miles in. And you can hear your car kind of sliding around when you drive fast. What would have made this game better, I think, is if there was some way of actually giving variable pressure on the paddle controller button. So you could um, change the speed via analog somehow. So how far are we making it now? So we're getting pretty far along already. This one. Now we got eight, seven, six. And there we are. That was Night Driver for the Atari 2600. This is Creeping Net signing out. See you in the next video.